So this is just a quick overview of the, the two racks that we use to film um, all of our feature films. This particular setup is pretty much everything we've used for the last four features from Super Hot, The Wedding Trip, Moving Valentine, and Morbid. And I'm um, just gonna go through and show you what we keep with us all the time. And we try to keep this as close to camera as we can so we can just reach and grab, being a very, very small crew. And here's what we got. We've got three stands on each cart. We have two boom arms. We have two 14 foot stands, two 10 foot stands, and two six foot stands. Come around the back here. This is our, um, we use this a lot for, for moon and night shots. There's a big pop-up globe. Pretty much use this in every night shot that, that we do. It's a big um, six by four pop-up silk. Um, we've also got a, a black and silver we can throw on it. So we've got our tapes, um, both gaffer tape and, and tapes that we use for, for hanging stuff that won't take off paint. I saw this on a YouTube video, but um, actor's marks just made out of uh, T brackets. And we just um, painted them so that uh, each actor knows what their mark is. Yeah, really inexpensive way to have uh, marks that you can lay down and don't have to peel the tape up off the floor. And then um, these are all our smaller clamps. No matter how many you have, you seem to run out of them. So um, we got a bunch of small ones and then the bigger ones we keep in, a, in an egg crate. We only have two apple boxes that we use. Um, this is just a regular full. And then we have one that has all the other sizes inside. Um, always keep our first aid kit out where everyone can see it. In the back here we have um, this is a scrim set that we got years ago. It's held up really well through, this has probably been through six feature films with us. So hanging on the side here is just um, a whole bunch of rags. So we probably got a 20 foot by 10 foot piece of black fabric. Same, we got white fabric in there. We got some unbleached muslin. Right, so this is our grip egg crate. We've got a, a board with a wall-mounted baby pin in it, a pair of old gloves that are well-worn and a the pair that's gonna replace them. We've got a bunch of our bigger clamps. These are our eight by eight butterfly frame uh, mounts. So these mount onto the stands uh, for our eight by eight butterfly. Uh, we've got a bag, that's where we keep a couple extra magic arms. Uh, this one's got a, a head on it and a baby magic arm. Another clamp with a baby pin. Another clamp. These have come in real handy. They're uh, baby pins with um, just mounts for tables and stuff. Got a extra grip head. Um, never can have too many grip heads. Used to use clothes pins. Um, now we've been using these little stainless steel clamps. I think a pack of a hundred was, was really cheap. And then just a couple miscellaneous clamps. Right, this is our rags bag. Um, most of this is for our 8x8 overhead. Uh, we got a green screen. We got a, a black and we got a scrim. Um, use the black and the scrim the most. And then for the 4x6 pop out that we have, this is a silver and a black that pops onto that. And then so just you can always use a little diffusion material. So just a bag full of diffusion material. Right. So these are the lights we use the most. So we got two aperture lights. Here's the power supply for the 200D and the power supply for the 60D. Power cords and a backup. So this is our newest light. It's a and I'm Amaron 60D from Aperture. Really powerful light, super small. We're able to get it in, into corners. There's the, the mini reflector on this one. But it's a, it's a full Bowens mount. So any Bowens accessory will, will attach to it. All right, and then we've got our Aperture 200D. For a small light, puts out a lot of light. We use this a lot to create moonlight coming in through the window. Been really happy with this. This has been with us on the last two or three films. Bowen's mount with barn doors. I think we may have, yeah, we made this ourselves. We literally 
took barn doors and we just zip tied it and it's made it through three films without fail. So budget DIY version. We use this um, a lot on our, on our Aperture 200D and that's just the two by, the two by for now. So just like when we shoot our films, um, trying to do this, this cart video, it's the time that every neighbor has to mow their lawn. So we'll wait uh, just so that the sound sounds good, but it doesn't matter where you go, you'll show up, you'll scout the location, it's great, sounds great, and you're ready to yell action, and then there's ring! Just part of making films. I'm not gonna pull this one all the way out, but it's just furniture pads. We have three furniture pads here. We use it to keep a couple t up top here, but we use these for everything. We use them to protect cars, we use them when we have to get down on the ground, we use them for soundproofing, just, probably one of the best investments. We bought them about six films ago and if, that we use them every single day. And so the last thing on this cart is our sort of all-purpose bag. And it's by a company called Tough Built, but it's nice because it just pops right off. It's got this little pop out so you can set it out, but all right. So we got our tape measure. We have American and metric Allen keys. And I believe these are all hex keys. Um, we've got torches in here. We've got DTAP extensions. We got Velcro cable ties, we got eyeglass cleaner, scissors, mini tool kit, another D-tap, great little wrench self-adjusting, zip ties, screwdriver, needle nose pliers, box cutter, a Leatherman. Over here, just every type of Sharpie you need, black, white, red, pink, silver, um, regular pen. And then to pop it back on, you just bring it over and it's locked in. This is our electrical. It's got a bunch of splitters, sort of typical AC splitters. We don't use these very much because we use um, uh, RGB bulbs now when we shoot, but these are dimmers. We've got three different stingers. Um, we got a 50 and, and two, actually I think we have, yeah, two, 150 and 225s. We've mostly been using these. These are 35 footers um, and they just, and they just pull out and then they're just really easy to wind up. These have worked out really good. These are the cheapest ones you can buy. I'll list them in the description below, but these have made it through two films with us. Haven't failed us. So this is our monitor and audio, and this is not a regular, our audio audio, but it keeps our, um, we keep our wireless headphones in here. So we have four pair, one for the director, one for the cameraman if he wants it, one for the script supervisor, um, whoever, Whoever needs to be sort of mobile and uh, hear what's going on. This is our director's monitor. Works out really well when we can't have our regular monitor on a stand. We've used this probably for the last five films. And then our main production monitor is a 15.3 uh, inch and it usually just sits on a, on a C stand and it's, yeah, it's the director's monitor. So I'm not going to pull this one all the way out, but these are four newer LED um, RGB lights. Two 660s, a 530, and a 480. They're great little fill lights. They're great for uh, accent lights, background lights. Also great when we need to simulate police cars. We tend to run them mainly off the Sony batteries, and we can get, we can get hours and hours out of a pair of Sony batteries. And the last one, this is our miscellaneous crate butt pad. Often we'll use this to put on an apple box if someone's sitting on it. We'll also use it if someone's on the ground and has their knee sort of going into the asphalt, keeps their knee from getting all eaten up. Pop out stool. Um, only had it for one film. Don't know if we can recommend it yet. We've already broken one of them. So um, there's definitely a weight limit and you definitely got to watch being on uneven ground because you get uneven and then you get put a lot of pressure on one particular side and it's easy to collapse. But for smaller people, pretty good. These are just two um, smaller pop outs. They're, I think they're 36 inches, just white scrims. Um, one is an oval, one's a circle. And we'll often throw one of these over a windshield and just need um, to diffuse some of the light. More gloves and more knee pads, baby wipes. Lots and lots of um, sunscreen, really important to always have on set. Plastic tarps for when um, rain pops up. Sewing kit comes in handy on every film in some way. 
And this is a DTAP uh, for AC. So if for some reason we want to power one of our DTAP items off of the AC, AC wall adapter for that. This is our color chart. And on the last film we shot anamorphic and so we would always shoot just a, a perfect circle so that we could make sure that the anamorphic distortion, uh, depending on the lens we were using, um, the center was, was still a perfect circle. A bandana, more sunscreen. And then this is sort of our audio backup bag, an extra set of um, transmitters and receivers in here, um, extra cables, extra um, lav tape, and that's it. And that's our carts. And these carts were custom built out of, they were originally from Amazon, but the problem was the wheels were really small. And so Taylor went to work and designed the carts to not only hold our, um, our stands, but get bigger casters on them that are all terrain, but more importantly would still fold up so we could put them in the back of a car if we needed to. These two carts have helped us make the last four films pretty much with the two-man film crew. Hopefully that was some sort of help. If this video is helpful, like, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, and thanks for watching.